Meanwhile, a week from today, the FDA will hold hearings for the Moderna vaccine. Now, some have expressed concern for how quickly some of these vaccines were developed. CBS 4's Eric Pointer spoke to an Indianapolis native who volunteered for the Moderna trial in Cincinnati, and he has more on his experience. He said it was two doses that he started back in August, and other than a few mild side effects, he says he's felt fine, and he feels like it was done safely because of the thorough follow-up process. I just felt really helpless, like, with just staying inside and not doing anything. Matt Turkbeck says he responded to a Facebook ad to take part in the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trial. It's exciting. You know, it's unbelievable that I was able to do it and do, um, you know, just be a part of a, such a small group of people that can make such a huge impact in the world. He doesn't know yet if he got the vaccine or the placebo, but he says he's hopeful that it was the actual vaccine because of the side effects he got after his second dose. I had a few mild symptoms or side effects of like a headache and just um, some tiredness throughout the day. I was pretty tired for about a day and then after that, nothing. And then it's just after that, it's been a series of follow ups of blood works and phone calls and just uh, electronic diaries on my phone that I fill out. It's been a long, long, unhappy year. This vaccination program looks like um, sort of the light at the end of the tunnel. Dr. Paul Calkins with IU Health says that he trusts the science and recommends people get vaccinated. I have kind of a personal grudge against this disease. I mean, what I saw in the spring was shocking and horrifying. And uh, if having a, if having a vaccine in my arm is going to in any way slow down the progress or the development of this disease or the death of more people, I am 100% in favor of that. I hope so that people will take it and know that it is safe because um, that's really the only way that we can truly overcome this pandemic. Yes, you know, face masks are great and everybody should wear them, but people aren't wearing them the way that they should. You know, they, I see people all the time with their masks underneath their nose or around their chin or just not making an effort. The trial lasts two years and Matt will continue to do his follow-ups to track his experience. And again, that Moderna hearing with the FDA is scheduled for December 17th. In the newsroom, I'm Eric Pointer. Back to you.